بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ریڈ روز ویلکم ٹو دس آن لائن کلاس ایرنسٹ بائی ڈی آر ایم ایونیٹیڈ ایڈیال کالیس رتن پور کالی گانس شد کرا آئی ایم سلیم ننبی ویتیو ان دس کلاس لیکسر این انگلیش ڈی آر ایم ایونیٹیڈ ایڈیال کالیس رتن پور کالی گانس شد کرا स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर ऑल वेल बाय द इनफिनिट लव एंड काइंडनेस ऑफ द अलमाइटी अल्लाह एंड यू आर कीपिंग योर बिजी टाइम इन स्टडीज आई होप योर एग्जाम इज वेरी नियर एट हैंड सो डोंट वेस्ट टाइम be attentive to your studies and today i am with you presenting this online class today's class introduction this class is going to be held from your english first paper lesson 8 uh, sorry in unit 8 lesson 4 from old book and from new book this is unit 12 and lesson 4 students i like to give you some in instructions before the very start of the today's lesson so before starting the main portion of this class you have to wash some still pictures or still photograph of something that will help you to understand what topic is going to be discussed in this class so the students what do you see in the picture probably this is the still photograph of shad gambo's mocks at bagrat and this is another picture you have to mention the name of this place probably you all know that this is the ruins of the buddhist vihara of parpur so far i know and there is a point of similarity between these two pictures do you know what it is what is the similarity think and i am helping you to understand this or the similarity between these two places there is another world heritage site that is that two pictures are at the world heritage sites of bangladesh another world heritage sites which is very famous all over the world is the sundarbans or pride the biggest mangrove forest of the world and this is sundar this is the sundarbans another picture of sundarbans all the forests are located on the shore of bay of bengal sundarbans is the abode of biodiversity do you know what is biodiversity biodiversity so far i think refers to a place where different kinds of rare animals birds or reptiles live let us watch the video and try to make a list of the animals shown here
This is a flat land formed of sediments eroded from the Himalayas, washed down by rivers and then held together by trees that are specially adapted to the environment. Aerial roots festooning the ground help the trees breathe at high tide. Kingfishers abound here, especially brown winged kingfishers with their enormous bills. There's a host of other birds too. Sometimes you just hear the calls in the trees. Some of them though are much more obvious and are targets for the photographers. Mini vets are really brightly coloured, especially the males. Bee eaters, brilliantly coloured birds. There are herons along the river, only occasionally though. And as we creep along the river, we find other wildlife, like monitor lizards basking in the morning sun. Brightly coloured fiddler crabs with outsized claws. To some of us, even very drab looking creatures are of interest, like a crab here of a species little known from the Sundarbans, by scientists at least. Far more spectacular is this King Cobra, the world's longest venomous snake. I guess it's around 10 feet long, though I'm told it's just a young one. It creeps away from us and back into the jungle. Sometimes during our country boat rides, there's little in view but the ever-present jungle greenery and the water. But usually we'll find a few things to photograph at least. Maybe a mud skipper, block of red shank, or more spectacularly, some more kingfishers. This is a black cat, brilliantly coloured, decidedly skittish. I like the brown winged kingfishers, which let us get a lot closer. We pass Nipah palms, the world's only palm tree adapted to life in the mangroves. Often our country boat rides end at lunchtime, sometimes we're out again in the afternoon. A band of waterborne paparazzi still finds plenty of subjects to photograph. Though by no means all the animals and birds we find seem very interested in hanging around to have their portraits taken. After a steamy jungle boat ride, our cruise boat, the MV Beeler, looks a very welcoming sight. In the evenings, our ship's dining room becomes like an IT room as photos are checked and edited. At one place, hordes of insects are attracted to the ship lights. We travel on our cruise ship, moving between various destinations in the Sundarbans, looking for wildlife. With a lot of luck, we might even see a tiger resting on the edge of the forest. We watch, but can't find any. Nor do we see any crocodiles. This here is a monitor lizard swimming across one of the channels. We often see deer grazing on the edge of the woods. Here we were lucky enough to see two young males play fighting. Eventually though, an older male decided enough is enough. Dear students, I hope you have watched the video very minutely and sitting in your home make a list of the animals you have seen in this video we can see deers moving towards monkeys Repetals, bars, probably migratory bars. And there is another animal in the Sundarbans that is not mentioned here till 
can you tell the name of it probably you have known so today's lesson is the threats of tigers of mangrove forest today's learning outcome that is the students you will be able to learn some new words answer answering some questions mentioning the cause of extinction of the royal bengal tiger and you will be able to write important short notes in the flow chart by the end of this lesson so here the main portion of this class is going to be held difficult words you may face mangrove usna mandaliya brikho a tropical tree that grows in swamp or shallow salt weather or salty weather ekta usna usna mandaliya bonohomi jeta shatshete pan nabonakto panite janmo gohon janmay erosion bhangon a process by which the surface of the earth is worn away by water winds or waves emon ekta prokriya je prokriyar madhye prithibir uporibhager mati pani batash othoba dheuer dara bheshe jay destruction dhongsho to destroy something kono kichu dhongsho kora cyclone ghurnijhor a violent rotate, rotating wind storm ekta birat ঘূর্ণায়মান বাতাস ঝোড়ো হাওয়া বা ঝড় স্যাটেলাইট উপগ্রহ দ্যাট অরবিটস অ্যারাউন্ড দ্য আর্থ বাই দ্য মুন অর দ্য মুন যে মানুষের তৈরি উপগ্রহ যেটা পৃথিবী এবং চাঁদের চারিপাশে পরিভ্রমণ করে ওয়েব ঢেউ এ লং বডি অফ ওয়াটার কার্লিং ইন টু অ্যান আর্থ ফর্ম ব্রেকিং অন দ্য শোর একটা বিরাট বড় ঢেউ যেটা ধনুক আকৃতির বাঁকানো আকৃতির যেটা তীরে আসলে পড়ে ডিক্রিজ ইন দ্য নাম্বার অফ টাইগার্স ইন দ্য সুন্দরবনস দ্যাট ইস ইউ হ্যাভ টু রিড দ্য প্যাসেস মাইনিউটলি অ্যান্ড ইউ হ্যাভ টু মেনশন the causes of decrease of the numbers of the tigers in the sundarbans a mangrove forest shared by bangladesh and india that is home of possibly 500 bengal tigers is being rapidly destroyed by erosion rising sea levels and storm surges according to a major study by researchers at geological society of london and others students you have known in from this para that geological society of london who conducts research on animals made a, a study on the sundarbans and they found that nearly 500 tigers live in the sundarbans that is situated both in bangladesh and india and the numbers of the tigers is being reduced every year because of the because of erosion rising sea level and storm surges now let us move to the second para the sundarbans forests took the brunt of super cyclone cedar in 2007 but now satellite studies show that 71% of the forested coastline is retreating by as much as 200 meters a year if erosion continues at this pace already threatened tiger population living in the forests will be put on put further at risk they have told that sudwa cyclone sido took place in 2007 and this super cyclone sido caused a great destruction to this mangrove forest and they also have found that 71% of the forest's coastline is retreating 
by as much as 200 meters a year and they have forecasted that if the erosion continues at this pace at this style already threatened tiger population living in this forest will be faced but will face greater risk of their lives Natalie Potterelli, one of the reporter's authors, said coastline retreat is evident everywhere. He said that the retreat or the damage of coastline is present everywhere in the Sundarbans, both in Bangladesh and in India. A, a, a continuing rate of recent of retreat would see the these parts of the mangrove disappear within 5-15 50 years. He also said that if this rate of retreat continue or continues, the mangrove forest Sundarbans will be vanished from the world map within 50 years. On the Indian side of the Sundarbans, the island which extends most into the Bay of Bengal has re receded by an average of 150 meters a year. With a maximum of just over 200 meters, this would see the disappearance of the island in about 20 years. <clears throat> the Sundarbans is known as known for vanishing island. You know, Sundarbans is known as vanishing island. That is the island which is going to be vanished slowly and slowly. But the scientist said the current retreat of the mangrove forest on the Sundarbans on the southern coastline is not normal. You know that the retreat of the coastline is normal and the rate remains normal as per the direction. But the coastline retreat in the southern part of mangrove forest is not normal. That is the students, you know that the tolerance limit of sound is 45 decibel. And this is this kind of something is the normal rate of retreat. But the present rate, rate of coastline retreat is not normal. The causes of the for increasing coastline retreat other than direct anthropogenic ones include increased frequency of storm surge and other extreme natural events, rises in the sea level and increased salinity, which increases the vulnerability of mangroves, said Potterelli. Our results indicate our results indicate a rapidly retreating coastline that cannot be accounted for by the regular dynamics of the Sundarbans. Degradation is happening fast, weakening this natural shield of natural shield for India and Bangladesh. Here, the shield, the word shield, has been missed. You have to read here natural shield for India and Bangladesh. You know that from the natural disaster, this Sundarbans natural disasters like the super cyclone erosion the Sundarbans help Bangladesh and India from the damage. As human development types and global temperature continues to rise, natural protection from tidal waves and cyclones is being degraded at alarming depths. You know that human development is thriving day by day and global temperature is continuing, is, is being risen every seconds. So the natural protection from tidal waves and cyclone is being reduced at an alarming rate at a very very fearful rate. This will inevitably lead to a species loss and if this form of global warming continues the world will lo lose many of its rich biodiverse part 
in the near future. The Sundarbans is a critical tiger habitat, one of the only handful of a remaining forests big enough to hold several hundred tigers. To lose the Sundarbans would be to move to a, a step closer to the extinction of these majestic animals, said ZSL expert Sarah Christie. This is all about the passes. I know you have understood everything of these passes. And now let us move to the next slide. Let us see the different causes of decrease in the numbers of tigers in the Sundarbans. Rises of the sea levels. In cutting down trees indiscriminately. Rebar erosion, illegal poaching, pollution, destruction of forests, natural disasters, and other reasons like increased salinity, sedimentation, causes in the inundation change in the inundation, temperature, rise, anthropogenic factors, forest vegetation, that is the trees generally are found in the Sundarbans, Sundari, Gewa, Goran, that is, and the animals that are, are found in this majestic forest, mammals. Rapid is burst, burst, sorry, amphibians and the likes. Now, time has come to give you individual work. Answer the following questions. How many tigers live in the Sundarbans? When did supercyclone cedar hit the Sundarbans? Why is the Sundarbans famous for? Who is Shara Christie? What will happen if we lose the Sundarbans. Now, time has come to give you the homework. Write a paragraph on the Sundarbans sitting in your home. Watch this video or this online class and try to write some few lines on the Sundarbans. Students, I hope you have understood the class and I hope this class will help you to prepare yourself for the exam. So thanks a lot. Remain safe and be very attentive to your studies, unmindful of the Dean and Basel of the outer world. See you in the next class. Till then, Allah Hafiz.